Hey everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back with Dire Wolf 20. Man, did I miss this base and the daytime. Uh, you know, Astral Sorcery was a ton of fun. I still have some stuff I want to do in the background, but, you know, let's take a break from the magic and uh, do a little bit of tech stuff. And the tech stuff I'm thinking of today is enchantments. <laughs> I know, I know, enchanting as not magic, but technology. But I want to build some stuff to uh, get some enchanting done. And, you know, I'm going to end up uh, swapping up this armor to something different. And when I do, you know, I want the things to uh, enchant it. I want to explore another set of armor or two. When I did come back, I noticed that I had a ton of environmental tech supplies. And so we're up to uh, a tier five void miners right now. And I had to move up the solar panels to four. Hopefully, I'll be able to max these guys out, you know, pretty soon. Uh, and then, you know, we can stop quarrying and everything else. That'll be awesome. So let's go ahead and jump right into today. Now, the first thing that I know I want to build, because I've been missing doing it, is let's get some wireless going on. Uh, I am just not good at remembering to have wireless. So let's see, wireless crafting grid right there. Can I make this? Oh, yes, I can. Cool, I got all the pieces. And then I'm going to need some wireless transmitters. What can I make there? Ah, pretty close. I just need a couple of these machine casings. And let's grab a couple of transmitters. And since we've been to the end and we fought the wither, let's go ahead and make it infinite. There we go. And I think those two pieces are all I need to do this. So let's go down. Uh, let's go down here. And I guess it doesn't much matter. I just need a place that has a little dip in the cable and is free overhead. Hmm, do I have any good spots? I've been trying to make the cable really tight. Ah, right here. This seems like the area for everything. So let's go ahead and we'll just plonk that guy right there. Right, infinite's transmitter. And then I gotta remember where the uh, controller block is. I know it's buried in the wall, let's say right about here. Ah, pretty close. And then we'll shift click this guy. Oop, done. And got myself wireless online. Cool. All right, so the next piece that I wanna do is I'd like to get some enchantments and I'd like to work with the enchantments that I've already got. So I think I'm going to go this way, and let's see. I want to be over here, yeah, right by the mob farm, where we've got this black hole tank that's got 1.2 million millibuckets of essence in it. So I want to work with, uh, you know, industrial four going some. So let's check that out. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build uh, everything that says enchanting. Right, there's all these blocks down here, the enchantment sorter, the extractor, the applicator, and the enchantment factory. And I think I need them all. Ooh, an enchanted book. Do I have any that I want to throw away? Uh, yeah, respiration, okay. What don't I have for this guy? Diamond gear. Okay, easy enough. Can do, put this guy here. Okay, there's the sorter. Uh, let's see. Gold gears probably don't have those. And let's get this guy, the extractor. And the applicator. Yep, got that. And the factory. Cool, got all of those. Now, this isn't the only enchanting that I want to build, but it is some of it. All right, so I'm going to need some item ducts. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take these impulse item ducts and servos. I got those. I'm going to need a chest, and let's see what else here. Uh, we're probably going to need some books. Nope, we're going to need some books. We'll take a stack of those, uh, and an importer. All right, importer, cable. Oh, yeah, 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 and I need network cable and connectors. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I have juice in that tank, so over here... Let's go ahead and plop down the enchantment something. I think it's the enchantment factory, right? I'm going to put it down right here. I got to look at it. 
Yeah, so requires essence and power. It's going to enchant things. Uh, and then it's going to do, let's say, yeah, I'm going to want to extract the enchantments right off from this guy. And then off from that, I'm going to want to sort things. And I think I'll have room here at the end for the enchantment applicator. But I need to look at this. So you need juice. You don't need juice. All right, this is uh, this should be pretty easy. And, you know, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put a lot of this stuff in here with XNet since it's across the hall. Oh, and I should talk about the pouch. Uh, so if you notice, my inventory is a little bit different. I was testing some things, and I pulled a massive stupid, and I accidentally deleted a lot of things, including my backpack. And, you know, I was really frustrated. I don't know what uh, key combination I hit to make that magic happen, but it was just gone. So I'm being a little safer now, is all my good stuff is sitting in an uh, ender chest, and I'll get to it through an ender pouch. So I went and rebuilt a lot of this stuff so I could have it. You know, silly little derps, and once it's gone, it's gone. All right, so I need, I'm actually going to connect her on all of these right here. And let's see, let's put the network cable, and we'll see if we can connect up to the other side. Come on, right there, right here, right there. All right, so where is, yeah, there's a cable right there. Let's bring this guy down and around maybe. Yeah, it's probably the cleanest way. And this way I can do power and uh, mob juice at the same time. All right, so get this out of my hand. Let's go ahead and just power these guys up. So over in XNet, I'm just going to go ahead to the yellow energy channel and insert power into everybody. Right? Power, power, power. And then it was the factory and the applicator need juice. So let's see. One of the fluid channels that's on extract. All right. So there's the applicator. Insert. And there's the factory. And insert. All right, so these guys should be filling up. They are. Cool. So let me put some pipes down here. Right, and this is kind of the way I'm trying to make a loop. I'm trying to make a loop. And I'm just, you know, thinking about how I want to do it. This block is kind of in the way. And, you know, I might move it uh, over here somewhere. Yeah, I might do that. Because it just doesn't really work in that spot. Well, let's get this loop done first. All right, so I'm going to enchant stuff. And then it's going to come over, and I'm going to disenchant it onto books. And I want everybody to leave this guy. Yep, this should work, and come over here. Oh, I probably would work if I turn on the servos. Right? Okay, cool. And then the sorter, I, I want to sort what happens. All right, so the yellow side... Let's, uh, let's see. I want the yellow side to be things that aren't enchanted. And I'm going to run it into the wall and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the yellow side, we're going to make the back right there. Okay. So I'm going to turn off all these other sides. And let's see if we can cleanly do this. I'm just going to kind of chop, chop, chop. All right. Uh, let's see. Where are my impulse item ducks? So I'm going to go right over here and you know we'll cover this all up right there right here right there i feel like i've got auto jump or something on but maybe it's just because i've got uh, step assist all right so that's that path right and that should take care of things that aren't enchanted things that are enchanted i need to come right back here and i think i'm just going to kind of go up and over and so let's set that path yeah, enchanted items. Yeah, it's going to be an input, and then it's going to go into either path. Energy. Let me think here. Yeah, enchanted items. Because then off from here, the enchantment extractor. Yeah, I've got to take some, some stuff off from this, and I can do that. Okay, all right, I got it. Uh, so let's do this. Nope, 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 nope. Don't try to disenchant my stuff. All right, so here... We're going to come right over here. 
I'm going to need my wrench. I'm going to need my wrench. Let's disconnect that right there. All right. And I'll put my thing right there. Cool. And on the back of this guy. So let's see. I want the enchanted. I'm just trying to make sure I get this right here. Enchanted books output. Yeah, enchanted books. So I want the purple to be the back. And then non enchanted. Let's see, you're the sorter. I don't know, that's not making sense to me for a second here. Right? I enchant things, I disenchant. Oh, yeah, and here's where I'm going to get it's this one right here. It's, uh, why, don't, why doesn't that show me? Okay, input books, enchanted items input. So that's the good stuff. Enchanted books output, right? And non-enchanted. Yeah, because this is what I'm going to cycle back around. I want to see if this works. All right, so I want the enchanted books output to be the back. All right, and let's get, let's get this guy here. I think this is how this works. We'll get that right there. And I'll try to hook this guy into refined storage. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and enchant a book. Let's get a book. Let's just make sure that this logic works, because for some reason, it's just like my brain's just telling me something's wrong here. Get a book. It's now enchanted. So you should be being pulled out, and you're not. So which one are you? Orange, output to the right, always active. You should be pulling it out. Why are you not pulling it out and put it right in the extractor? Ah, because it can't do books. Can't do books. Uh, let's make a, a helmet. Here we go. I've got, uh, uh, I'll make a new one. Because I need this helmet to go around in a circle. All right, so you've been pulled out. You got turned into a book. Oh, man, I lost it. It's in the system here somewhere. There it is. All right. And that's exactly what I want right there. It's going around in a circle, and it's getting enchanted, and it's making books just like that. Okay, I got it right. So all we've got to do is hook in uh, this guy here. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. The wiring's a little ugly, but it's totally going to work. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take it around. I hate all the stuff that crosses over each other. Right? Just like this. There we go. So that helmet, which now i got to try to catch, that helmet is going to constantly go in a circle. Ah, oh, I missed it. All right. Let's see. Active on redstone signal. Maybe it'll catch it once it comes back over here. Come on. Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. There you are. All right. Turn this guy back on. So that's what I want, right? Everything's going in a circle. And that should just make me enchanted books over and over and over again. Uh, let's grab some covers here so it is just not as awful looking. Right? And we'll cover this guy up here if I can. Now uh, you're in the next block space. You're in the next block space. Where is my wrench? Let's, uh, let's take you off. And let's see if we can get that in the right block space. There we go. Put you there. Put you here. And the step assist is driving me crazy today. All right. And you right there. Cool. All right. So that should be the whole system right there. Things going around, around, around. All right. And then let's put this applicator. Yeah, this is the guy that needs mob juice. And I think it's connectors right there. Let's go ahead and just stick him right here. I don't think there's anything uh, wrong with putting him right there. So I'm going to grab my mattock. I'm going to kick out the floor here. We'll put the applicator there. And let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and find its connector. Did I already take it off? I guess I did. All right. We'll put the connector right here. But ah, now i got to do something really ugly with XNet. You know, that eh, happens. All right. So XNet. Yeah, I'm just going to hop you over right now. It doesn't much matter. I'll come back and probably clean it up a little bit. And then let's make sure that this guy, yeah, has mob juice and power. All right, so let's see. You are this one right here. So there's that, and there's that. 
All right, so this guy, let's do this, you know, kind of orderly. This is going to send stuff around, and it's going to automatically pull out books. And that's all it's doing is making books. So I can go ahead and let's make something really enchantable. Let's make a uh, gold chest plate, right? And I'm going to make, probably gold would be a better word. I'm going to make a gold sword, and I'm going to make a vanilla bow right here. And hopefully this works how I think, that I'm going to stick these guys in here, and all three of them should go around in a circle all the time and is making books. And will only work until I run it out of books. All right, let's just chuck some of this stuff back in here. And, you know, I probably want to put this on a lever, maybe. That way I can just turn it off later. And I'll put the lever, I guess, on this guy, and we'll say active with redstone signal. All right, so you guys are, yeah, I think you're traveling in the loops right now. They're always hard to catch. Like, you just got to watch one and wait. And hopefully the item ducks are fast enough. I don't see that anything's clogged up. Where did you all go? Right there. Right there. Oh, I know what happened to everybody. It got pulled out right here because this is supposed to be enchanted books output. And I didn't turn off everybody else. So everybody else needs to go to the right. Everybody else needs to go to the right. Right, right there, input books, yep. I'm willing to bet you that if we come back here and I say gold, there's my sword. I don't know where the chest plate is. And where's my bow? Maybe those guys are still traveling around. I don't know. So let's go ahead and put this guy in here. And I should see it come back around. There it is. Huh, I wonder what happened to that chest plate. I'll have to uh, I have to take it back apart. Yeah, that one's an iron chest plate. Let's go ahead and make another gold one and see if we can see it go in a circle. Right? You get sorted. You're in there. You're in here. And you should come back around to here or here. Oh, there we go. It was in the sorter. It should come back around here. There it is. All right, so stuff is traveling in a circle. Really not sure what happened. Oh, I know exactly what happened. Oh, I have a thing that auto-deletes bows and gold armor. That's what happened. So once Refined Storage pulled it in, it uh, deleted it right back out. So this is one system, right? It's going to go ahead and constantly enchant. Now, I want to make one more thing. This isn't the only way to enchant. So at Thermal, they have a block. Uh, let's see, which one of these is it? Item, fluid, lexical transmuter, insightful condenser. Nope, that's experience. Spreads potion effects. I could swear you're one of these right here. That you have, a, uh, you have an enchanting item. Let's just keep looking here. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's an actual machine. Ah, right there. Arcane and Sorcolator. Whatever. Let's see what we can make here. All right, so we're not far away. Let's, uh, let's get this guy. Arcane. What would it take to make Constantan gears? Can I make those? Oh, I don't have enough Constantan. All right, what do you take to make? Do I have you at all? No, I don't even have the ability to make you. All right, so we got to stop and do this real fast. Induction smelter, nickel, and copper. All right, can do. Nickel and copper. And I see a thing that I've got to do after the episode. So right here, right over to this guy, go ahead and make me a bunch of constantan. All right. You know, that's a material you don't use a whole lot. Uh, so let's see, arcane. Yeah, this guy right here. So I'm going to need one of these coils. I'll need one more of these gears, and there we go. And I know I need a magma crucible. Yeah, magma crucible right here. I already have one. All right, let's see how we can bury this guy in the, oop, in the wall, not in the floor. I'll put the rest of this wall back up later. But if I understand this one right, I can put that guy there, and then I need to feed it. I need to feed it, uh, 
experience. Right, so I'm going to put this guy back here, and we'll go ahead. I need some. Uh, I need some ducks. I need some flux ducks. Here we go. Flux ducks. Flux duck. Oh, ghost block. Let's go ahead and put the flux duck there, and then we'll take the flux ducks downstairs. Try to chop this stuff out gently. All right, right here, right there. Oh, but I need a side of this for refined storage. Let's see, can I do this? What if I what if I took it down here? Yeah, let's do this. Let's take this down right here. Right, just like that. That'll give this guy power. Actually can put it up here. Right? And then I can take and oh, I gotta use my wireless. Alright. And then we'll do an exporter. Oh, gotta set this guy. All right, so then I can do an exporter. Oh, that's handy. You even got experience. And a cable. Okay. Yeah, this will work. All right, can I squeeze in here, see the side of this machine? Probably not. Not even worth trying. Let's just flip it around right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you to export experience. And we'll uh, cable this guy down into the basement. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys. Oh, that's really handy. You're going to come down and you'll go over. And where's a good spot for power? I guess I'll just kind of sneak you along the wall here. Let's see. Wasn't there power? Oh, ugliness. Yeah, right there. All right, cool. So then we should just have to set sides on this guy, right? So let's set sides. Input, output. Pretty easy. And it's going to turn that into XP. And you are just going to accept on the back. And there we go. We got Essence of Knowledge coming in. And then I should be able to put... Not like that. I should be able to put most of my wall back, and I'll put some covers over this, uh, and it'll all be cool. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to make a very specific enchant. Uh, you know, it's just going to bother me if I don't fix it, right? Boop, done. Ah, that wasn't even the right cover. Wasn't even the right cover. Now it's really going to bother me because it's this cover. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Right there. Okay, so I want to make a very specific enchant called Holding. Right, uh, right here, holding. And I want to make a bunch of these. So this is books and chests. All right, so let's get, let's get a bunch of books. Wow, that thing's making a lot of enchantments. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to need, do I have these on auto crafting? Yes, I do. So I think I'm going to need like eight, maybe. Let's get books. Let's grab chests because I want to try a thing. I want to try one thing. So I'm going to make like eight of these guys. Let's see. Books and chests. Uh, you're not bad for speed, but, you know, I probably could do a little better here. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do some augments. Are you speed? No, your speed. How am I out of speed upgrades? Oh, we are going to have to work on power, by the way. Power is about to become an issue. I've ignored it for long enough that it's going to be a need. All right, augment right here. I mean, might as well make it a little faster. Right, so can you stack? No, I'll have to do this one at a time. Okay, I mean, what I'd like to do, let's get a, uh, let's get an anvil. All right, let's get an anvil. And I guess I will just stick you right down here. And I put these guys together. Yes, I can. All right, so I'm going to try to make a uh, holding four book. All right, there's three and there's four. All right, so what I want to try is this guy out here, this power cell. So this one's always empty uh, because it just doesn't hold enough RF. And hello? Tell me it's because I opened it with a wrench. So let's come back down here, and I'm pretty sure you can enchant this energy cell with holding. Yeah, you can. 
And look at that, 50 million to 150 million. Oh, man. All right, I just got to grab some XP. I have got to grab some XP because I might actually do that again. All right, so let's go ahead and enchant this guy. Got to get him in the right order. Now you hold 150 million XP. And, oh, we got the books right on us. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get eight more of those guys. So, you know, I might put this on a crafter and move all the wires around so I can order books like this. I think that's a pretty good idea, actually. And then we can order a holding. And I just have to figure out how I can put them together. Uh, and I'm going to try that other block here in just a second to see if I can do this. All right. Can I put two books in here? You're an enchantment applicator. No, I don't think I can. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. All right. Let's stick these guys together real fast. Two, two, right there. Three. Oh, not a wrench. Three, and then holding four. And then I'm going to put it on my flux capacitor. Can I do that? Yes, I can. And that takes it up to 75 million from 25 million. All right, so just a little bit more XP. Cool. I like it. Yeah, I was wondering if this was a thing, this holding enchant. Uh, let's see. All right, where is this guy and that guy? Cool. Now I can hold a ton more power. I like that, and I like that a lot. All right, so last couple of things I want to do with this. Uh, so now that I know this works... I got kind of a fun thing that I like to do with these uh, enchantments. So let's go to Enchanted. And let's see. Unbreaking? Sure. I'm going to take an Unbreaking, and let's see what we got. Oh, Mending. You actually wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see what else. Multi-Shot. This is some of the stuff I wanted to try. So an Enchantment Applicator, last time I used it, could force enchants onto things that aren't enchantable, like Tinker's Tools. Can I... Put Unbreaking. I love it. We can enchant Tinker's Tools. Unbreaking and Mending on my Tinker stuff, which means I probably can get... Uh, let's see. I'm going to need Enchanted. Do I have... Oh, I want that Sharpness. Yeah, I want the Sharpness that we got from Astral Sorcery. But I don't want to apply all that other garbage, and I don't want to lose it. So check this out. Let's go over here and go to our atomic reconstructor i'll take off my ring of magnetization and if i chuck this guy on here yeah it separates out all the books for me isn't that nice so your multiple enchant books you can make single enchants and that way i didn't lose uh that stuff so let's do this i want to find out i'm going to enchant my bow yeah i'm going to enchant this bow with power six and we're going to put multi-shot on it. All right. Uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead since I have it. And let's put night vision on our helmet. Cool. I'm enchanting that way. And then there was one more. Oh, yeah. Sharpness on our sword. Cool. So I'm going to run a bunch of these books through here and see what kind of crazy enchantments uh, we can come up with. Yeah, Smite, Sweeping Edge. Ooh, Sweeping Edge would be kind of nice. Yeah, oh, Multi-Shot 4. Yeah, so that's all I've got to do now, is I just have to take another stack of books and put it in this guy, and there we go. Round and round they go. Here's my chest plate. My bow is somewhere in the system. I don't know where it is. There it is. And it's just going to rip out uh, more and more enchantments for me. I can put this guy back. And now it can hold three times as much just by enchanting it. Boop, right there. Go ahead and fill up. Are your sides still set? Input and... Yeah, those sides don't really matter. It's output to the bottom. So you must be filling up this guy right here. Yeah, you are. And then I just want to know, did that actually work? Uh, I can't tell. I don't think the multi-shot is working on the bow, but maybe it needs to go on the arrows... I don't know, but I thought that was just fun that I can uh, enchant the unenchantable.
right? And now I got night vision going on. Very, very cool. So I just got to run that for a little while and we are going to have enchantments on everything. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, so I'm 47 Mark 4 and hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, throw me a like or a comment. I always look forward to seeing those. And then I will see you in the next episode.